Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. I am a full-time mom and nurse and part-time reseller. So this channel, if you are new here, is for those of you who are trying to learn more about reselling, or maybe you just like seeing finds and what people flip for. But today, um, I am going to show my sales. There are only two of them because I am on eBay restriction. And then I have a box that I ordered from Shop Goodwill several weeks ago and it was delayed. It said FedEx delivery exception. Box was damaged. So I'm gonna open it with you guys and we'll see what really got damaged and if I'm gonna need to contact Shop Goodwill for a refund. So. Stay tuned, guys. All right, so first I'm gonna go over the two items that we did sell. One of them is from eBay and one from Poshmark. If you've watched my channel for any length of time at all, you know this is super low for me. Um, we average about 10 items a day, 250 in sales, and we only have one. Hopefully the eBay restriction ends today. I have not heard back from eBay for business on Facebook and I couldn't find anywhere to call. I heard from a couple people you could, but I um, wasn't able and I honestly would rather spend my time on other things. So hopefully the restriction ends tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and my listings will be back visible. I also wanted to clear up that I had several people telling me that the CPAP masks, from their understanding, are not allowed to be listed. I am going to post a link in the description. CPAP masks, according to eBay rules, are allowed to be listed. And I will send a, um, or put the link down in the video description showing where it says that these accessories, as long as they are not prescription accessories, are allowed to be listed. So I just wanted to clear that up. It is, um, not against eBay rules to list CPAP masks or CPAP headgear as long as it is not prescription. And now we'll do the the two sales. I'm used to saying eBay sales today. It's only one eBay sale. So the one eBay sale for today are these Falscara New Way to Lash. This was a retail arbitrage that I did, I think like a week and a half ago. I got six of these. I paid five each. Retail is $18.97. These sold for $13.23 plus shipping. They're brand new. Um, so about a like seven to eight dollar profit. So Whenever I go to Walmart, which isn't often because honestly, my husband does do most of the shopping for us, but when I do go, I do check the clearance aisle and I also check in health and beauty because they, in my Walmart anyways, have their own clearance section. So I found six packages of those. I believe this is the second or third to sell. So it's easy, one listing, multi-quantity, and they're new. And that will just go into a small padded envelope and very easy to ship first class as well. So that is our only eBay sale for the day. And then we do have these Fly London wedges going out on Poshmark. So because I have my eBay restriction right now, I am trying to put a little more effort into my Poshmark and Mercari just to see if it'll pay off. I don't know if it will or not. Um, so far it hasn't, but I just started doing stuff last night. So I sold the pair of Fly London. I want to show you guys. These are new from the QVC palette. And they are, there's what your inside looks like. Just in case you see these in the thrift store because they do sell well used as well. Um, these sold for $30 on, on Poshmark is plus shipping was an offer they sent me. So on Poshmark, when they send you an offer, there's no discounted shipping if you accept. And if you send them one though, Poshmark does require you to either um, offer them a $2 discount or give them free shipping. But that was not the case here. So these sold for $30 and they will be going out today. So let's go over 
Um, we're going to look in the box. I'm going to show you guys, I think, first what it looked like when I opened it up. I have not went through it yet. I don't think I'm going to show you guys me going through because I think it could be kind of messy. It is a health and beauty box. And um, I will get everything out. I might do a couple of clips of me, like initial reaction. And then I'm going to set it on the counter. We're going to see what is okay still as far as reselling and what isn't. And that will determine if I contact Shop Goodwill and ask for a refund. I did pay over $100 for this lot of Health & Beauty, so it was not a small purchase. So if items were damaged in shipping, I am going to ask for a refund. So let's go look. Alright guys, so this is my box when I opened it. If you see, there's tons of blank space. So I don't know if FedEx reboxed this and you see there is a trash bag here with stuff. Um, or if this is how Goodwill boxed it up. So there are a couple of bags. There's another one buried there. I'm going to get these bags out, lay stuff. Um, and I will tell you that... I paid over a hundred. I got this a few weeks ago and I kept getting shipping delay, um, exception emails. And from what I learned, that means the box was damaged. So I am going to look through here. Let's get stuff on the counter and I'll show you guys what I. All right. So this is the first, um, little set that I have taken out. I'm going to show you guys and then we will get some more out of here and see what we got. I did have to wash all of these off. Um, something else in there is broken. So, you know, with like shampoos like this, um, this is a conditioner and the hand soap, you cannot sell them used. So if you see here, this one um, is not used. There's nothing that's went through that spout. So this one would be okay to sell on eBay. But with lotions, if they're used, you cannot sell them. So I did get those two, and I might have some comps. Um, I don't know since I can't list on eBay right now, but maybe. If not, you guys will see them in what sold. Um, this is a swab deodorant. You can see there the um, plastic safety is in there, and then the lemon citrus. So these, and this is the reason I mainly got this box, are Arbonne Intelligent Genius um, Nightly Resurfacing Pads. So this is new, and then I'm not familiar with this Miraculous Mud Pie from VibesUp.com. Um, it says we'll take the energy, so yeah, we'll look this stuff up. Um, there's a lot of Arbonne Clear Future, but like this one, some of the stuff is missing, and I saw a ton down in that box, so we will have to see. And there's a big stack of Arbonne Baby Care here, and Arbonne Calm, and then this is a Journey Makeup Bag, some pads, and some of this won't be worth it, but I might be able to lot some up. Um, this here, it looks like it is new, but two of these came dislodged during shipping. They are over there. There is no name here, so I might give this to my daughter. And yeah, so that's all for this first set. So I opened this one up real quick, and um, they're all hard, so that's actually going to go in the trash. All right, guys, so here is the second um, load that we have gotten out. There was this Avon. This is Charisma and a little bird, you see. Um, I have sold a few Charisma. They sell okay. They are not high. The Disney H2O, so little hotel soaps sell pretty decent um, as a little set. There's also a Crabtree and Evelyn set like that. More of the arbon re9 advance more of the arbon clear future i'm not familiar with this silk science um there is a pure romance kiss uh, bo5 which isn't worth anything not for sure but the arbon essentials um pain relieving gel i think are selling for about 20 dollars a tube i've got to look up this bivulgari 
not very familiar with that, but it does look like um, Bovavari Italia, Roma Italia. So I don't know, and it sounds pretty full. Um, what that's worth, the Tommy Bahama aftershave should be worth um, a good amount as well. So these are things that I saw. Um, this one I couldn't see the kind, but now that it's out, I can. This is Gardenia by Elizabeth Taylor, 3.3 ounces. As you see, it's pretty full. So um, perfumes you can sell used, um, any sprays you can sell used, and just not um, like that hair gel I wouldn't be able to. So when I get lots like this, I pull that stuff out and donate it locally. And yeah, so let's see. We've got just this one last bag left and I will show you guys. All right, so this is the last. So there was more of the pain relieving gel than I thought. Um, it looks like they sell for 10 to 20 each, so not too bad. And then that's BioFreeze. I'm not familiar with these. So I'm going to have to look them up. I don't see anything damaged, so I'm wondering if they pulled something. And I'm going to take a look at the pictures from the Shop Goodwill um, auction that I won now. All right, guys. So we actually got a couple more sales. Um, so I wanted to show you those. Uh, one is not from a viewer that I am aware of. And that is these breezy panties. They sold for $6 plus shipping. I have about a dollar in so those sold and then um troy over at mount man treasures asked me what my store was i told him you could only see one thing he went and actually 70 of my listings were viewable again so maybe they're slowly letting me off of ebay restriction so troy did purchase two things for me and i left this in the box to show you guys troy do you see the dust i've had that so long so luckily Troy said to ship this pop out of the box that it is for his kid. And then he also got this really cool um, copper wire bracelet. It's artisan. It's definitely handmade. It's really super cool. Um, you can see there where it's hammered. And like in the ends, you can see. So yeah, just some really cool artwork there. So Troy did get those two and they are going out for a total, let's see, so it was $19.23 for the two items. Troy paid $29.98 in total. Troy, I greatly appreciate your purchase. I love watching your channel. Um, I think he's close to 700 or maybe a little over 700 subs now. So hopefully you'll join the 1K club soon. And then I was talking to Calvin over at the Kelly Hustle, um, telling him I was happy Troy got stuff and that some of my listings were back viewable. And then there comes another eBay sale. So Calvin got this Raiders um, helmet pennant. It is pretty much new. Um, it does still have the sticker on it there. Um, I love selling pennants. I, um, I'm getting kind of low on my stock on those. So Calvin, <laughs> I appreciate your purchase and I love having you on the live show with me as a co-host. So I will tell you guys now, you'll see all of the stuff that came from the box and I am hoping to get some of it listed today. Not on my main eBay store, but at least on Poshmark and Mercari for now. So. Hopefully that will be up and I'll have a few comps for you guys. And... All right, y'all. So I wasn't going to really put this in a video. And then I was talking to Calvin over at the Kelly Hustle. And he said this is some flipping for sure. I'll show you all my chicken pens. So I used to have hundreds of chickens. There's all my old pens. There are no birds in there. But hopefully we're going to get about 10 birds next week. And there used to be chicken cages all right here. But... Not anymore so this is my daughter's car it was her first car i bought it for her for nine hundred dollars off of facebook marketplace she drove it for about a year no problems and then with our lovely country roads around here she hit an animal and it stopped running so i was going to put it up on ebay and do an auction for um hundred dollars starting and just let it go 
because really um, anything at this point I'll give y'all some view here anything at this point is better than nothing my hubby is mowing the yard right now um, so anyways I said well I'm gonna list it at a thousand because I think that people are probably gonna lowball me and honestly I, I'd be really happy with about 500 so I listed it a couple hours ago and I already got two people saying they're coming tomorrow and they offered me 600 bucks so pretty awesome so hopefully this will be removed from my yard soon and I'll have 600 bucks so when you're in eBay jail you got to find alternatives mine just happened to be a car sitting in my yard so if you have a car sitting in your yard list it that's my point so Dalton's throwing some chips <laughs> in the chicken pen I think he'll really like when we get chickens and we'll show y'all a few little clips of that so yeah car hopefully gone next time you see us out at the chicken pens and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Um, the premieres will be at 8 p.m. every night. And we will be moving the live show to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time just to kind of keep with my premiere time. I think it's easier if everyone knows 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as just a set thing. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the live show last night. I appreciate all of your support. This is an amazing community. If you haven't gotten into the reseller lives and chats and just um, interacted with some of the people, some of the content creators, uh, some are not content creators. It's just an amazing supportive community that I am very happy to be a part of. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Daddy needs to mow the grass, huh? Does that daddy need to mow that grass? Are we going to put some chickens over there? You're going to go see the dogs?